Hello guys, welcome to a Jenny video from Transport East here and this is Jenny video from London Bridge to Orpington on a 465466 It's double 465 Yeah, double 465 Yeah Oh thank you <laughs> um, So we're just departing London Bridge Fortunately I just made it in time for this train because I was absolutely like I only got like 8 minutes because while I was at the Tuesday I was only like 8 minutes away from missing my train uh, to this train arrive so tried to find the London Bridge Railway sign <laughs> it was all over the place because of the new 10% pro program works interesting <laughs> this is London Bridge in full at the moment you got these 7 platforms over there you got 700 103 you have 377 409 over there so this is a non-stop to Alpington in this journey video this this one continues to Tunbridge Wells, the 0908, South Eastern Service from London, Charing Cross. Tunbridge, High Rooms and Tunbridge Wells, I think. Thank you. Yeah, that should be right. Yeah, that should be right. That's correct. Um, and the expected arrival at Tunbridge Wells, 0958. So, this is 465902. Um, the rear I'm going to put in the caption on the top right, if needed. So, the answers are given. And uh, we're in the middle of, um, we're just actually um, going through the um, sooner or later Spa Road. Right, uh, 377412 and 377426 are terminating in. <laughs> about that speed as well. Yeah. We're joined by Camden in the commentary, in the guest commentary. Please do check out his channel. And you've been to Orpington and 7 Ace before, haven't you? So you probably work out what it's like there. There's a DVRF on the other side. I think it's 66748 we've just passed through. Street 748. I uh, probably didn't see, didn't catch it properly. EW66 on the other side. The famous bridge. Anyway, it's covered, it's covered by National Rail Property there. Nowhere Rail Property. It's covered by Nowhere Rail Property again. <laughs> These bridges. So I had 66144. Uh, there's Millwall, Millwall Football Club. We have a 465 passing through. 466. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's some 378s over there as well, there's some 378s. Anyway, I've only been in London only just a couple of, um, just over, well, two weeks ago. <laughs> but I didn't see any, um, I did see some overground services, but they were going to Watford Junction, so. I used to live in London. You used to? Until I was nine. Oh, right. Still missing. Hmm. Which part of the area? Uh, Lincoln. Oh, right. There's New Cross on the other side. We were passing through New Cross. You can also use new costs for London Overground services going up to Surrey Keys. That way. <laughs> and Gillingham <laughs> services passing by 75 miles an hour. So. Yeah. <laughs> like most stations on the North Kent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good journey. Yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> Meanwhile, you got all three videos, hopefully, of the Southeast of Mainland stuff are all up by then. And unfortunately, there are no javelins, so KTV videos, you are very safe for now. You're safe. Uh, I've got two an hour each direction in Gillingham. <laughs> yeah. They're lovely. Yeah. Mind you, I'm thinking about the Hitachi 800s. I haven't even gone into one of those yeah, yet. Well, that's... I, don't, I don't know whether it's going to be quite good, but I'll have to find out when I get on, on one of those things. It may look alright, but we'll have to see. But there has been problems with the 800s. Yeah, big ones. That yeah. The javelin never had. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I've come up with every javelin ride I've ever been on, not wet. Yeah. In 800, I think some people actually got soaking wet on their first shift, taking over the Great oh, Western Main Line. <laughs> I can see that the 800 eventually collapsing like the APT. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. Unless to do something that could be quite magical and actually um, fix it all at once then. I hope it doesn't go wrong at some point. <laughs> I don't know why it failed so bad, because Hitachi make... I think Hitachi are the people who make the M700 series Shinkansen. Mm -hmm. And they're on that... Um, they are building them for at least the next five years. Yep. And nothing's been going wrong with 500, and the N700s. Yeah. Through Hiver Green. Wow. Yeah. If I ever so close, then I'll have to roll. I thought we've gone through St. John's and all that stuff already. My word. It's gone that quick. The total journey time for this is only around 18 minutes. It's only 18. Last time I was doing the Warranty Wigan, that was 10. That was way less. Because they're not so far apart from each other. My journey in Gillingham was an hour and twenty. Yeah. Five. Then I've gone through via Cambridge and saw the Emirates Stadium as well. Normally, the Great Eastern Mainland is um, normally open, but uh, sometimes on some Saturdays. But this Saturday, it's still got engineering works again. It's always breaking. Yeah, it's always got some engineering works going on on that side all the time. There's some little white and three seven five four six. You know what? They're not three seven six. Oh, three seven six. Four six six double six. First sighting of some three seven sixes over there. Some first sightings. Really? Unfortunately, we... yeah, it's my first sighting. What my rail guys? Yeah. We can laugh at how many trains I've seen so many times. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, looks, it looks like it's quite confusing to know which one is which of 375 or 376, but 376 does tell the, the exterior is slightly different than 375. Well, the exterior on 376 doesn't have a gangway. Yeah, one. it does. It doesn't have one as well. Yeah. And also in oh, yeah. 376 or 016 on one, though. There you go. I managed to get, at least can finally get one of those logs. <laughs> Okay, we're just passing through the St. John's places. Right, no, no, sorry, it's Grove Park. <laughs> no, we passed through Grove Park. Anyway. Did I try to remember that Hiver Green's actually got that subway that actually has got the mural? A mural subway. That's probably a Hibber Green. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> this section of track is new to me. Really? Yeah. Ah. Because I've always travelled on the North Kent line. Oh yeah. Not done the South East of Mainland properly. Uh -huh. <laughs> Surely you've done it with JD on the one trip to go to Seven Days, just a little bit. Yeah, but the, I did that from Bromley South down. Yeah, you did Bromley South way, so you went to Yeah. Yeah. It's all quite new to you. <laughs> All quite neat. Mm. That's great. Then. I'm not going 
Nitro's brakes might have probably been fixed then. Nitro's brakes must have been fixed after all these problems. Umstead Woods. Someone's trying to change the advertisement board <laughs> as well. Hmm, what could it turn into next, I wonder? Chiselhurst as well. Chiselhurst. Yeah, just has more effect. How was it all interesting on the um, North Kent um, Friday night ride there? I guess. How was it going with that? Yeah, very good. <laughs> Did you get stuck? That's, no, I didn't get stuck. All oh, right, that's good then. Just what you just seen pass through is Chiselhurst. <laughs> So yeah, we're now yeah. As I have already covered four stages already on that one already. <laughs> four stations. Oh, I've covered loads on that line. Yeah, now I've just got to cover um, cover Dover, Dover, Ramsgate, Margate, that area now. So you've way. got to cover, and in terms of east of Faberty, you've Paris. got to do Whitstable, Tesfield as well, with Burn Bay, but you can't see what's Maybe not all of them, but I will pick a selective few of them. <laughs> I'm picking a selective few of them, so, yeah. so it's not the repeated yeah. ones. I do the selling and Margate yeah. if you want to do one from each branch. Margate. <laughs> Margate on the Ramsgate branch and yeah. selling on the Dover branch. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's it's worth a sell. Sell, sell, sell. Once did I commute to using A465? Okay. Uh, that one commute from 465. Same with that one. And that one. Mm -hmm. uh, and that one. No, actually, I did a javelin on that one. Um, Here that comes one. Petswood. That's what now I'm passing through is Petswood. On the other side, that's a 465, 466 passing through also. This one's come with amazing. I only recommend This one's coming. This one's coming. That's like near Blue Water. That's near Blue Water. No, Green Hive is Blue Green Water. Oh, Green Hive is Blue Water, yeah. Um, Otherwise, they'd have to leave themselves. Yeah. Nothing. The thing that makes. It's like near. It's the place called Erif. Erif is like near the QE2 bridge. I had to get on the stopping service yesterday. Erif. 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 Very odd. Yeah. Erif. 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 Just because we got another place of that in Cambridgeshire as well, but it's got an A in the middle of it. Erif. Yeah, maybe it was that Erif. Interesting. <laughs> so as we coming, uh, the next one will be Orpington for definite now. So, so here are some information of what you're going to be expecting next. Your next station that you'll be seeing by the time this is uploaded is Upway. The next journey video rating for this particular one is going to be from Southampton Central to Bournemouth. We will shortly be arriving at Orpington. Okay, so we're approaching Orpington. Yep. There's a 700 there, 700 007. I think it's about a 10 second thing coming in here though. Is this a rare? Oh no, they run rush hour services between yeah. here and 465934 on the other. Just a note. I'm going to walk down now, which I'm left in thin. <laughs> There's another 465 on that side. Yeah, sure. So take care all and I'll see you all in the next video. Take uh, the rear of that one was four six five nine one three. Right, take care all and goodbye. <laughs>